Uh, hey guys, so I have for you a tutorial on this hairstyle. It's not a headband, it's my actual hair, if you can see. And yeah, I hope you guys like the tutorial. Let's hop right into it. So, to get started, I have curled my hair. I just styled my hair. You can wear your hair any way that you'd like. I just feel like when my hair is natural, it's too much volume for the headband and everything. And I usually do this hairstyle when my hair is at least one day without washing because that way the braid uh, really stays where it's supposed to stay otherwise it's otherwise it slides even though you secure with bobby pins all you need is bobby pins I just use four bobby pins and that's good and I use a an elastic just to secure my hair and like separate it so first what I do is I grab a section of hair, any section of hair from the back, like way in the back and under here and then I grab another section from over here if you have a short, uh, shorter hair which I used to have and it wouldn't go around, now it goes around like way over um, you can grab a piece of hair from like close to your ear and it works out just fine so then what I do is I pull my hair back um, you can use a brush to do this but I don't have one with me right now so then just do this and you separate keep the parts that you the sections that you separated these are gonna be for the braids and this is just to make sure that uh, the part of your hair doesn't stay so it really looks as if you have a headband and so I just did a ponytail and now I'm just gonna do my braid you can do any braid that you want you can do as many braids as you'd like I've done three four braids I've done like two regular braids and two fish tail fish 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 something braids you know like those ones that you keep coming with the sections so you just braid la, la, la. then after you braid it I braided I braided it all the way through then you put it up to the other side you grab a bobby pin and you secure it over here it's really simple now it's secured, and then you do the other braid. If you feel like you need, uh, you can always uh, put at the end, secure the braid at the end of the braid. When you're finished braiding, you can secure with a, those little tiny uh, see-through elastics. I don't feel the need to do it. I used to do it when I first did this hairstyle, which was a really long time ago. Um, while you're braiding don't forget to kind of push it to the side so it doesn't have a bulk under here when you turn it around um, usually if I do the fishtail braid I I braid it like this so I'm sure to have the shape that I want for the hair and when you're done you do the same thing if you want you can put it over here or you can put it behind the other braid usually I put it like this see this braid is a little bit thicker than the other one it doesn't really matter it looks cool if you make different types of braid and then I just grab a bobby pin and secure the braid itself now that both of the braids are secured I can put my hair down and what I usually do now is I grab two more bobby pins. Ugh. I grab two more bobby pins. So what I do is I grab it here. I grab one part and one part, like right in the middle of the two braids. And I push the bobby pin in. So then I'm going to show you this side. So you grab 
two set two, right in the middle of the two braids and you push it. So then it's secured and you're done. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys liked it and don't forget to subscribe.